It's Shalom One. Before I get started, I want to say, Kal Halai Mla, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechakodash, which means give out praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Natham Masana Kabbalah Haji Kareem Shayas Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach every well. And Shalom wa ahal bachaya shaya sha'ala, which means peace and love to the luck of Israel. I'm going back again. Through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, Bashim Chakodash, with another lesson on the Buddha Anna from the Jamesh Memphis count. And I just want to do a quick lesson on good and sit against evil. So I'm going to get into a little scriptures, do the talking, and Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the left. So this is back 33 14. Good is sit against evil. The life against death. So it's the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly, right? So ultimately, we have what? The righteous versus the wicked, the godly versus the ungodly. And this is how the Lord set it up that way, man. You know, ultimately, Jacob versus Esau. And Jacob represent the righteous and Esau represent the wicked. I get a scripture to prove that real quick. I get numbers real quick. 23 and uh, 10. You can read this whole chapter going to uh, um, Balaam and uh, Balak. You know, let me just get straight to the point. This is uh, number 23 and 10. It said, Who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the full part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous. And let my last hand be like his, right? So the righteous is Israel. Yashallah, Jacob, the so called blessed Spanish Latinos and Native American Indians, and also to the Israelites who've been scattered across the four winds of the earth of spirits, goes back to Israelite, man. We are the godly, we are the righteous, the Israelites, man. You know? So let's get scripture proving that Esau eat them. Is the wicked. They go to the book of Malachi 1 and 4. Well, let's start at 2. Malachi 1 and 2. I love you, said the Lord, yet you say, When has that love us? Was not Esau, Jacob's brother, said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Why? Right. The Lord still love his people, the Israelites, man. But Jake, you know, Jacob, you know, Jake. Sometimes it feel like he don't love us, man, because Jake is under the uncurses. Not knowing he doing it because we made a covenant with him, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jake, we under the, uh, the covenant. Uh, so we under the curses, man. But hey, the most High still love us, man, to this day. Stand with the elect of the nation of Israel, man. So this verse 3, and I hated Esau. So the Lord said he hate Esau. He hate Esau. And lay his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, We are in poverty, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They should build, but I will throw down. And they should call them the border of wickedness. They should call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord had in the nation forever. Right? So the, the the wicked is Esau Edom. The Edomites, man. And the Lord hate Esau, man. You see? The Lord hate Esau. They are the wicked, according to the Bible. So they are the ungodly. Like I say, Psalms. You read Psalms, the 73rd chapter. But let's get this John out of here. Psalms 73 and 12. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. And these... This uh, this right here is speaking of the Edomites, man. You know, the this chapter right here, man. You know. You know, some uh, some of these precepts in Psalm 73 is speaking about Esau Edom, man. You resist, therefore pride can pass them about as a chain, violence covered them as a government. Who is that? Esau, man. They their eyes stand out with fatness, they have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly, cause son of oppression. They speak lawfully. Right, this is speak about the children of the wicked. Esau Edom. Hey, going back to Job 9 24, the 
The earth was given into the hand of the wicked, man. You see? So, hey, these are the ungodly. The Edomites, man. You know? He said they could whoop and speak wickedly, man. Going back to this, Sirach 33 and 15, you know, and 14. So it's the godly. He said, good is sin against evil and life against death. So it's the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly, man. You know? So, hey, they, you know what? I, I got to get to jump. Because so they speak. They say, uh, they are corrupt and speak wickedly because son of oppression, right? So let's get some back. Um, bear with me. Maybe 13. Yep, so like 13 and 20. It says, it's the proud hate and humility, so do the rich abhor the poor. And that, and that, that says a lot. You see? That says a lot. So right, man. So hey, go back to so like 33. I'm going to end it. Just a quick lesson. Throw the spit power over the eyebrows on my side. They're good to sit against evil, man. Now let's get on and get this Proverbs. 29 and um, 27. It said, An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. Exactly. So NLT, the righteous despise the unjust, the wicked despise the godly. You see? So it's vice versa, man. Why? Because it's a whack. 33 and 14, good is set against evil and life against death. So it's the godly against the sinner and sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and they are two and two, one against another. Right. One against another. And that's plain. That's how the Lord set it up that way, man. Another another preacher just came to mind. Uh, so I, I mean, second answer 16, I want to say 49. Yep, second answer 16, 49. Like it's a whore, envy, a right, honest, and virtuous woman. Right, just like a whore, man. You know? A whore hate a right and virtuous woman, man. They they take care of her husband. They're in subjection. You know, a whore hate that. Vice versa. So 50, social righteousness, hate, and negativity. Guess, and that's it. Going back to that Proverbs 29, 27. So social righteousness, hate, and negativity. For she decked herself, and she accused her to her face. When he come, in, they should defend him, that diligently search out every sin upon earth. So, right. So, hey, this is just another example, man. It's two or two against another, man. So, so right, read this one more time and end it. So, about 33 and uh, 15. So, look upon all the works of the Most High, and they are two and two, one against another, right? Just like you got a left and you got right. You got up and you got down. And guess what? You got love and you got hate. That's a balance. So in today's life, in, in, in today's time, what do we have? We have Jacob and we have Esau. Remember, they would say they um, uh two nations. It's that womb, Jacob and Esau, the book of Genesis. One should be stronger than the other. So, hey, this is how the Lord set it up that way, man. And remember, the Lord created this. This is his move. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. How the Lord do all these things, man. You see? Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord has made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of, of evil, right? So, this is all part of Yahweh Shemashah movie, his plan. You know, good is sit against evil, righteous versus the wicked, Jacob versus Esau, man. But Jacob should win. Jacob will get the victory, you know. So, with that, Lord William was edified. Once again, give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem, for Chakodas, the honors to the apostles and elders. Of great mystone who teach him well. The peace of love to the elect with that shalom. Come as Allah Baba.